Hey guys, so I'm um, doing a little install video on how to install these blinds. Um, these are the blinds from Home Decorators. They're the cordless uh, cellular shade light filtering blinds. Um, I think it's a Home Depot brand. So basically I got, you know, one of them installed here. And I think it, you know, they look pretty good. Um, they're not terribly expensive, you know, they're cordless, so, you know, it's kind of an easy, easy open, easy close, and they, you know, they fold up nice at the top. Um, so anyway, that's one that's already installed. Got another one here that uh, I'm about to install, so, you know, when you open the box, you know, you get the blind itself, you get a little box of hardware here, and you get, you know, some instructions how to do it. So... Um, kind of the, you know, the trickiest part about installing this is these clips, you know, it, the clips themselves aren't hard to install, but the tough part's actually getting the blind on to these clips. So that's probably the part I'm going to try to focus on the most, but, you know, I'll probably try to throw in some little reviews of the blinds and, you know, some little tips and tricks, whatever. All right. So the first step actually, before you install anything, um, is that you want to actually go and, and measure the size of your window opening with the tape measure. Um, so basically, you know, I got those measurements, um, I wrote them down and you want to get the exact measurements, you know, from the, basically where you want to mount them. In my case, it's the inside. So the inside corner to the inside corner on both the top and the bottom. Uh, and basically you want to take your smallest dimension, uh, down to the qu a quarter of an inch, uh, the clear dimension. Uh, and that's what you're going to want to bring to the store. So basically you can give them, give them those dimensions, um, in the store and they'll, they'll custom cut the, the blinds basically. Um, so you can get a nice precise fit here and, you know, they, they take off a little bit of, um, they take off a little bit of the, I think a, a quarter of an inch off each sides or so, so you can get this cap on and everything from your clear dimension. So they'll do that automatically in the store, but so it is important to get the clear dimension. You don't want to account for anything else. They'll account for any any gap or whatever. So uh, that's all you need to go to the store. You can get and then just pick out the size that's the closest to your size window, you know, width wise. So what I found out is actually the height. Um, the height doesn't really matter because you know the window. Like I think this one, I don't know. The window is roughly, you know, thirty six inches um tall uh but the i think the actual size we got yeah the 60 by 48 so the window was almost 60 it was just under 60 feet or six sorry 60 inches so we just got them cut down to like whatever size they were to the quarter of an inch and then we got this the 48 inch tall i think it was actually like 36 but the thing is the blinds um are kind of built to like a uh to just fold in the bottom. So whatever height your window is, the blinds will just kind of tuck in there. It doesn't really matter what the height is. The only dimension you really need is the width. That's the important dimension. So just uh, go get your clear measurements of your width, tell them at the store, they'll cut it down, and then you'll be good to go. So here's what the hardware is. Basically, you get three clips, you get the mounting screws. These are the end caps for the blinds, and then these are for the bottom um, to kind of lock the, the blinds into place. I don't think I'm actually going to install these. So these are what these little screws are for. So you really don't need that stuff. You really just need the bigger ones. All right. So the next step is the instructions tell you to measure four inches away from the side of the wall. And basically you do one in the middle and then you do one on the four inches on the other side. You know, you just want to take this little clip and kind of get it to where you want it. And I was trying to get this kind of front part like flush with the with the face of the wall that gave me a pretty uh you know nice flush fit on the other one so that seemed to work um one other thing they didn't mention in the video um you know if for whatever reason in my case there there didn't seem to be any stud um in this in this wall so when i drilled this it just felt like drywall so you know i Obviously, if you just screw in a drywall, it's not going to hold very well. So I ended up putting like a um, drywall 
anchor in there just so you know there, there's something for the screw to screw into um didn't mention anything of that in the instructions so you know it's kind of surprising but i guess most of the time you're probably mounting this there is usually a stud so that's kind of unnecessary but you know you always want to pre-drill your holes and uh, make sure there is something there to anchor it to so um just got that done i'll hang the clips and we can get to getting the blinds up there all right so you got the clips all mounted on there um, so now it's time to actually you know mount the uh, blinds to to the clips so this is kind of the tricky part um, <clears throat> there's a few things the instructions do not really spell out very well for one there basically is a front and a back to this thing it, it's hard to tell from the actual blinds because they're basically symmetrical but if you look at this rail you can tell that there is a little bit of difference between these two um, the the profile of the of the rail basically and if you look at the instructions it clear it doesn't exactly spell it out but it kind of show it shows it in the diagram that the bigger notch basically goes in the front the smaller one goes, goes in the back <clears throat> so you want to make sure you have that the right direction um, and the other thing is you, you want to put on these little uh, end caps before you try to install it on there uh, the other thing if you look back at the instructions basically the instructions tell you to kind of get the front notch in there first and then just kind of push in the back um, now that was something I did on the first window and it it didn't seem to work all that great <laughs> it was kind of hard to get it in there it did work eventually but it seemed like it took more effort than was necessary so I might try to do it the opposite way here and then see how that works maybe it's easier I don't know um, but then if there's time you know I have one other window to install so maybe I'll try it back the, the original way there so I don't know I'm gonna see what works better here but yeah we'll just get those caps on and then kind of go from there all right so I think I actually I'm just gonna try to install this uh, the traditional way the way it tells you um, in the instructions so you know putting basically putting this front lip up there first and then trying to like kind of push the whole thing back that's the way it tells you so kind of give that a shot so basically Get it all lined up. I think it's on there. And I think, you know, I didn't see this the first time, but in the instructions it actually tells you to open open this a little bit. Um, that actually makes a lot more sense and that makes it a little easier to, to put it in there. So that that's open. Oh yeah, that's way easier. See, I think that's the key, is actually getting the, the shade open. When you have it all bunched up and you're trying to push in that piece, it doesn't really work. So open it just a little bit, and then there you go. It clicks right into place. I'm trying to get a close-up of the very back of this thing. You can see um, I got the window pulled down a little bit. And from here, you can see where the clip needs to go in. So all you have to do, if it's not quite going in perfectly, just push up from here and it doesn't have to be that too hard there we go but just give it enough pressure like right around the clip just to get it to snap in just like that so there you go now they're all it's all clicked into place step back a little bit so another thing yeah basically I didn't see that before on the instructions but it, it does show it like open a little bit here uh, so that's what I did and wow that made a world of difference uh, way easier to install the other time the other one I had it completely bunched up at the top like this and I couldn't get any leverage on the thing, so it just kind of was pushing this, and it was like hard to click it in. So 
that really didn't work very well but now that that's it's all clicked in I have this I still have this cat stand here but you know for the most part I think it looks pretty good um, it's uh yeah I mean it's not a hundred percent perfect um, but I mean it it's perfect enough I don't <laughs> you know I can't complain it's a much better look than just having these curtains and it's a lot more private like I said it does light let light in still so you know it's kind of nice you don't have to the curtains sometimes there's stuff in the front of here you know on this table and curtains are hard to close and so this is a nice I know for sure like it's um on the outside you can't see anything you can maybe see shadows but you know you can get the blackout version of this so we just wanted the light to come through but anyway yeah I'm pretty happy with it I think it looks like good it's an upgrade um I did notice on our other one there wasn't as big of a gap on the edge here I wonder if I could kind of shimmy it over a little more yeah, it looks like it's about the same on this side so maybe our measuring just wasn't so great on this one but it doesn't really matter you know you just see a little bit of the frame of the window uh, it's not a big deal um, it's still pretty flush you know so I can't complain too much um, and from when you step back a lot further you can't really notice at all you know it looks pretty good um, but yeah that's I think pretty much the drill as far as installing it um, I guess the you know I was gonna try that other method of putting it in the opposite way but I don't that actually didn't work too well I kind of failed actually so you know I did go by the instructions I think the, the critical part is just getting enough leverage on this thing and I guess you do want to be careful on that not to like potentially damage the you know damage the um whatever the coils you know I might have done I might have bent it a tiny bit on the side but that actually was really easy the other one it's like one clip wasn't going in and I, I basically had to force the thing into place and that was not pretty so this was a lot easier so uh, yeah hopefully that helps you out